Gold prices are solidly lower and hit a two-week low Wednesday. A rally in the U.S. dollar index following an upbeat U.S. ADP number is also bearish for the yellow metal on this day. Joining us now is U.S. Global Investors' Frank Holmes. Thanks so much for joining us. Good to be here. So, Frank, gold is looking to end the third quarter down 5%. This would mark its second consecutive lower quarterly close. How do you digest this news and how do you stay upbeat here? Well, I think it's probably one of the stronger assets because everything else has been spanked more. Uh, gold has been actually quite resilient compared to so many of the currencies. The Canadian dollar has fallen more. Uh, and I think it's just important to recognize uh, the liquidity concerns. And we're seeing it in stocks, in just S&P stocks. The best performing stocks are getting hit because people are trying to lock in some type of a gain. Now, Frank, according to some analysts, the overall theme in the gold market has been the Fed Reserve's bias to hike rates. And today, the IMF's Christian Lagarde said that even if it is a small hike, this would be a significant change. Do you agree? I agree. And I've commented on before, real interest rates in the U.S. are higher versus what they were in 2011 when gold hit 1900. Uh, what we're talking about is minus 3% on 10-year bonds to plus 2%. So any widening of that would only make the dollar scream higher, would make the rest of the currencies in the world, gold would rise in euro terms, it would rise in yen terms, but in dollar terms, it would take it on the chin. And that would be very disruptive to the American economy for exports. And we just saw last week, durable goods are down. Well, Frank, she also said that she sees a prolonged period of low commodity prices, citing China's slowing economy and its appetite for commodities. You often speak about the China and India love trade for com commodities. So how does this play out here? Well, it definitely does. That, that idea that uh, if you have a strong employment uh, in China, that they buy more grams of gold for love giving. Uh, so what happens is they cut back from giving you five grams, and they're gonna cut back to four grams. The giving's not gonna stop overnight, but here, what's important, Daniela, in China is that the government continues to buy and they continue to report the buying for greater transparency. So now they're pushing almost 54 million ounces. They bought an extra, what, 500,000 ounces of gold last month. So I think that that's important. And I also think it's really important in North America is the U.S. Mint com uh, commentary that gold consumption is rising. So the wisdom of crowds, a wonderful book written by Soweki, is that when people are out there in, the, in different opinions, but through an exchange, they're buying an asset like gold, they're buying it on sale. They're not buying stocks on sale, but they are buying gold on sale. All right. Let me ask you about a major news item this week. Glencore uh, recouped mo most of its losses from Monday's 29% plunge. Uh, what does this news say about the mining front, Frank? Well, the great concern about Glencore is that, is that they are an incredible trading house and they have so many counterparty transactions and they've been characterized as a layman, the Lehman Brothers of mining. And that's what created a great concern and management wasn't coming out. So I would hate to see them to get into financial difficulties. There are also rumors around that Goldman Sachs is eyeing to basically be disruptive of their empire and that would be benefit Goldman, but that would be incredibly disruptive for the mining sector. It would probably create a great bottom. So that's why investors always should have cash. Cash to buy in these volatility dips. All right, Frank, let's end. What's your touchdown pass going to be this week? What are you eyeing? Well, I think also what the IMF is eyeing is PMI. And tonight we're going to have the official PMI numbers coming out of China. Tomorrow we're going to have ISM numbers in America, the two big important economies of the world. And uh, let's see, if hopefully we get some change. We don't think we're going to get a reversal where the one month is above the three month until November. Frank, thanks so much for being with us. Great to be here. And thanks for watching this edition of Gold Game Film. We have Bubba Horowitz up next. Stay tuned.